Minnesota Nice welcomes some raging Cajuns bringing the heat from the bayou. Minnesota won the coin toss. They defer to the second half. So Dragon Kesich with the kick that bounces out of the end zone. Louisiana comes in with a three and one record out of the Sun Belt. And they've put up a ton of points, averaging just under 39 points per game this season. On first and 10, Chris airs it out for LeBlanc. His wideout, Peter LeBlanc, and coverage on the play by Trayvon Jones. It's incomplete, second down and 10. Second down, and here's the carry by Traylon Washington. Chris, as the pocket collapses, this is where Chris is dangerous. Cut down at the 45-yard line by Trayvon Jones. First down, Louisiana. 21-yard scamper to move the sticks for the Ragin' Cajuns. And the first down carry to Jacob Cabote. Ball at midfield. Second down. Chris, as a flag comes in, crosses into Minnesota territory. Illegal formation. Offense. Five players in the backfield. Five yard penalty. Third down. And this is a Louisiana offense that likes to spread its personnel out, and it costs them a procedural penalty. Second and long, this is a design quarterback run. And Chris is wrapped up at the 39-yard line of Minnesota. He moves the chains again. Now some tempo for Louisiana. There's Neil Johnson, the tight end. And he's eventually upended by Jack Henderson for Minnesota. Louisiana really went for the home run on their first play from scrimmage, but after that, it's been very methodical on this opening drive. Second and short, here's Chris. On the seam route, and the pass just beyond the reach of Pierce Meagle. Washington, the tailback in the pistol. A tight formation here. Chris throws it complete. And tumbling out of bounds, Charles Robertson for the Louisiana first down. Now a first and goal, and Washington gets hit just across the line of scrimmage by Devin Williams. Second and goal. A lot of pre-stat movement for a Louisiana offense that has multiple tight ends on the field. Chris, end zone. LeBlanc. Made the catch, and it's a touchdown. LeBlanc was double covered in the back corner of the end zone, ruled a catch in bounds, and for the moment anyway, Louisiana has the lead. Touchdown. Kenny Almendaris for the point after attempt. Hasn't missed this season. And that one hooked a little bit, but he squeezes it through. 7-0 Louisiana after a very impressive 10-play, 75-yard drive. Thomas Leo with the kickoff. Line drive. That was caught by Quentin Redding, and he steps out of bounds. And Minnesota takes over at the three-yard line. And unfortunately, that's the second straight week where Quentin Redding is at a special teams blunder. So Minnesota starts at their own four. Had that kick gone out of bounds, they would have started at their 40. Yeah. So that's massive difference. basically a 35-yard difference in starting field position. Here's Ethan Kaliak Manis with his first play from scrimmage. And the handoff goes to sixth-year senior Bryce Williams, who again is filling in for Darius Taylor, the running back who's out of the lineup today. Tucks and runs on second down, falling across the 10-yard line. Wrinkle to Minnesota's offense on the opening drive. Kramer's a local product from Eden Prairie, Minnesota. You called it, Brock, but unfortunately, Louisiana was ready and waiting. 
Mark Crawford's punt in the direction of Jacob Bernard is fair caught. Here's first and ten, and the route nearly jumped by Justin Wally. Here's Kabodi trying to string the play out, and he's unable to round the corner thanks to Jack Henderson. Third and long. Into the flat for Washington. He took his eye off the ball. That was a forward pass, so just an incompletion. Washington taking the safe route either way. It's fourth and nine. Huge three and out for Minnesota's defense. Coming in beleaguered after giving up a 31-10 lead to Northwestern in the fourth quarter last week. Leo's punt is fair caught. Pass caught. Daniel Jackson hit immediately by Keon Martin. Second down. And a good hard run for Zach Evans. Minnesota had a third and short on their first drive. This time on the plunge by Cali Ekman as they moved the sticks to the 25. First and 10 for the Gophers. And that was a flinch up front by Sonny Hazard on the Louisiana defensive line. Offside. Defense number 91, Hugger penalty, first down. Corey Crooms, the man in motion. Here's Evans, his second carry of the day. He slips across the 35-yard line and is brought down by Kendra Gant. Here's a first and 10 for Kelly McManus in Minnesota, and Jackson's wide open at the 40 of Louisiana. It took three raging Cajuns to bring him down. Caleb Edwards finishes him off from the 34. Evans stays on his feet and picks up another Minnesota first down. Why well, you can see why this guy was at the top of the depth chart in training camp. Fake. The sidearm throw is caught by Elijah Spencer. Second and short ball in the red zone for Minnesota, looking to tie this game late first quarter. The give to Taylor is hit by Jasper Williams and a first down, Minnesota. Gophers with a first and goal here. Callie Ekmanis to the end zone. Jackson, touchdown, Minnesota. Third touchdown catch of the season for Daniel Jackson. And Dragon Kesich to tie it up. No problem. This is a procedural penalty here, however, and it's going to move the Raging Cajuns back. Ball start. Ball start. Offense number 50, five yard penalty, first down. Washington plants his foot, flag comes in as Newbin finally wraps up Washington, but this could be back to back penalties on Louisiana. Personal foul, the legal helmet contact, hands to the face. Defense, number 96, 15 yards penalty from the end Not of the so. run. First down. 32 yards gained between the penalty and the run. Here's Washington again. And a good shoestring tackle by Tariq Watson. Now Jacob Bernard. Chris loves to roll that pocket. And the pass complete. 
to Robert Williams. He's into the red zone. Upended by Darius Green. First down, Louisiana. First and ten. Chris did not fool Jack Henderson. That was Danny Strigo. Beg your pardon, who strung that play out from the defensive end position. Danny Strigo from the mat to the gridiron ends the first quarter with a good play for Minnesota's defense, but Louisiana is on the move. Second down for Louisiana in the red zone. Draylen Washington runs into Strigo again, this time on the interior of the line, and Strigo had some help. Maverick Baranowski up off the pile for the Gophers. Chris, now he uses his legs, and Baranowski would not let him free. Now here is Kenny Almendaris, who's a perfect five for five on field goals this season, and has made 17 straight field goals going back to last year. This one's from 28. To give Louisiana a second quarter lead. It's good. And you can run that streak to 18 for Almendaris. Play comes in from the Minnesota sideline. Callie McManus over the middle, looking for Jackson, his favorite target. It was draped by Caleb Anderson, and two flags come in on that play. A lot of discussion. Pass interference. Pass interference. Defense. 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 Defense, number 11, will be placed at the spot of the foul. Automatic first down. On the ground, Evans met by Caleb Edwards, and he picked up about three. Second down, and Callie McManus on a beautiful play fake comes back to his tight end, Nick Calera. Redshirt senior from Wyzetta. Kramer feeds Bryce Williams. He has a Minnesota first down into Louisiana territory. First and 10 for Callie McManus under center. Here's Evans. Doing a great job filling in for the injured Darius Taylor today. He's just shy of the 40-yard line of Louisiana. Give him six on first down. And he's been itching at the opportunities, of course, as we mentioned, the injuries clouding his first two years. Then he's been on, on the travel squad all season, kind of been waiting and waiting. And here he gets his opportunity to where even when Darius Taylor comes back, he says, no, 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 coach, I showed you something. I need to remain in that rotation. Five carries for 34 yards on the ground for Evans, who's set back on this formation. The second down give. Evans with a burst, and a flag comes in after he was cut down by Jasper Williams. Williams slow to get up along with Lamecki Brockington, the Minnesota wide receiver. Holding, Holding. Defense, defense number 91. 10 yard penalty from the end of the run, an automatic first down. Well, this is the last thing that Minnesota wants to see. Lamecki Brockington got rolled up on that last play. That left ankle in a protective sleeve, and he is being carted to the Minnesota locker room. This is Sean Tyler, who is able to round the corner on Tyree Skipper before being pushed out of bounds. First down, Minnesota. Second straight carry for Tyler into a cloud at the six. Bryce Williams got hit by Tyrone Lewis Jr. at the end of the run. Not quite a goal-to-go situation, but here's Williams again, and this time it's Kendrake Gant who meets him just off the line. Looks like a victory formation for Minnesota. Instead, the pile is pushed forward, and Callie McManus is granted a touchdown for Minnesota. And Chris, the genius of that is by bringing receivers on the field, what do you expect? Oh, okay, roll out, they're gonna throw the ball. 
then they go to the QB sneak after you bring on extra DBs anticipating the pass. Fantastic play call by Greg Harbo there. It, it, it's just that simple. Our strength is our offensive line, so we're going to use our strength here on a fourth and short. On first down, nothing doing in the backfield for Zylan Perry. Brought down a yard behind the line of scrimmage. Harvey Broussard in motion on second and long. Chris with all day. And the pass is caught over the middle by Peter LeBlanc. 16 yards and a first down for Louisiana. Here's LeBlanc again. He pushes Justin Wally back. Chris on the keeper. Gets to the sideline and is embraced by Tyler Newbin on his way to the turf. 45 total yards on the ground today, 90 through the air for Chris. First down, Louisiana. Chris escapes. And finally tripped up by Darius Green after he made a whole lot of maroon jerseys miss. First down, tempo attack, and Perry on the short run to the 21. Meagle in motion. Chris, pass complete. Robert Williams, short gain. Forward progress to the 16, and it's third down. Kaboni. Got just enough. Another first down for Louisiana. Chris is hit. Blows it in on halftime. Tenth play of the drive for Louisiana. Fourth meeting all time between these two programs. Minnesota's won all three. Kaboni gets hit promptly by Devin Eastern. Takes the lead back. Almanderas for the point after try. Seventeen fourteen, Louisiana. Pooch kick, fair caught at the 25 by Strigo. Bryce Williams is the tailback. He's got the ball now. Not much. Gain of about one, it was Casey Osai, the linebacker, who was the first there, second and nine. On second down, crossing route, Elijah Spencer. And he nearly made Tyrone Lewis miss, but he still picks up a Minnesota first down. First and 10. Cali McManus shrugged off Cameron Whitfield and was eventually hit by Jasper Williams. Up 17 14, Minnesota football, second down here. Less than a minute to go until halftime. Cali McManus, a deep shot, and it's intercepted. Tyrone Lewis Jr. on a ball that just hung up. And it's Louisiana football in the final minute before halftime. 43 seconds. That's plenty of time for Zeon Chris to move the ball for Louisiana. Here's Jacob Cabote, and Kyler Baugh meets him at the line of scrimmage, and maybe Louisiana's content to take a three-point lead into halftime. Definitely taking their time getting the call in. No timeouts called. They are doing just that, Chris. 
what a statement win this would be for Louisiana to come up into Big Ten country and knock off Minnesota. The raging Cajuns bringing the heat from the bayou. Here comes Quentin Redding on the kick return. Tackled right around the 20 yard line. Nathan Kelly McManus now with a chance to respond. First and 10, third quarter underway. And uh, gain up the middle for Bryce Williams, and it's second down. Blitz pick up there, and the pass is caught by Corey Crooms. On first and ten, it's Evans again. And he runs Evans right Jerry. through Caleb Anderson. Good gain on the play, and it's second down. Second down, and Evans shakes off Tyler Gidry and is eventually tackled by Mason Narcisse, but not before picking up a first down. Showing his strength there. Gidry has an arm on him. Both arms on him, but Evans able to fight through and get that first down. And that offensive line from Minnesota has definitely won the battle up front so far. They're going to need that to continue. From the 45, Crooms in motion. Crooms on the reception. First down and more. Shouldered out of bounds by Anderson, and Minnesota has the offense on track. Here's Tyler. Tyler hit at the 30-yard line, a gain of nine. Second down and short. Lewis on the tackle. Quarterback plunge on second and short. Kelly McManus scored a touchdown that way earlier in the game, and it's a first down here for Minnesota. Remember, Lamecki Brockington was injured in the first half for Minnesota. Elijah Spencer, the wideout at the bottom of your screen. It's Tyler who was able to get his feet moving before hitting the line of scrimmage, Brock. And as you said, when he's got a full head of steam, he, he can pick up seven or eight. Acceleration is, is the key with him. Now, of course, when contact comes, yeah, he's 5'9", 190. The defender usually gets him on the ground, but, man, if you blink, it's too late, and he already has an eight-yard gain. So, yeah, sure, I'll go down. We're on our way to a first down. Yeah, you can settle for seven, eight yards of play. <laughs> Second and short. Here's Tyler. He gets hit by Gidry around the ankles and then was finished off by Marcus Weiser, who's playing in his first game of the season after an injury. Another third and short, and the rugby scrum formation. Kelly Manis marked down at the 19, and that's very close to the first down marker. Must be nice to have almost 1,000 pounds of man from your left guard to your right guard. <laughs> you can just lower your shoulder behind and fall forward. Nathan Bull, the center, is the lightest of the group, weighing in at 300. Another first down. Evans back in the game as the running back. It's his ball. Up the middle. Evans, touchdown, Minnesota. Look at him. He's just going to get vertical. Those maroon jerseys are clearing out the white ones. That is so much space. So you better believe Zach Evans is going to take full advantage. They go for his legs. It's not enough. He keeps his balance, and he gets six. Back and forth we go. Minnesota regains the lead.
benefit of a kicker who can kick the ball 500 yards. <laughs> Holy smokes, what a leg on Kessich. Chris's first pass of the third quarter is hauled in by Jacob Bernard. That's a great drive starter for Louisiana. And the ball at the 40-yard line, first down. First down carry, and Draylon Washington slipped through before he was upended by Maverick Baranowski. Second down. Washington grabbed from behind by Tyler Vaughn. Here's a third down for Louisiana's offense. Chris running all the way. Thrown back. Anthony Smith, the redshirt freshman. Talk about size, Brock. Smith, 6'6", 285, shuts down Chris. Chris throws incomplete. A turnover on Downs, Minnesota football. Minnesota football after the turnover on Downs. And Evans upended after a two-yard gain to the 45 of Louisiana. Great starting field position for Minnesota. They got to cash in here. Fantastic complimentary team ball there, defense. He's a big fourth down stop, and they get the ball back to their offense, who is now going to eat up as much clock as possible. And if they have it their way, they'll still have this ball at the, at the start of the fourth quarter. Second and eight. Evans again, nothing doing. Hit by Sonny Hazard. Third and long. Cali McManus in trouble and sacked. Cameron Whitfield came into the day with two and a half sacks on the season. Another one there, and it's Louisiana's defense who rises to the occasion. Gigantic play there by the versatile Whitfield. Both defenses come up with big stops in the third quarter. That ball bounces into the end zone off the foot of Mark Crawford, a touchback. Second and four, and here's Jacob Kabodi on the ground. Baranowski with the tackle. Third and two coming up. Carter in motion. And a flag comes in for a false start on Louisiana. False start. Offense, number 50, five-yard penalty, third down. So a third and seven now. Chris. Intercepted. Tyler Newman. Big Ten Defensive Player of the Week after two interceptions against Nebraska. And a big one there for the Golden Gophers. Minnesota with its second straight drive that begins on Louisiana's side of the 50. The carry for Sean Tyler, a negligible gain, but he does get about two. Minnesota did not get a first down on their last drive, squandering an opportunity with great field position. And they get good field position here again. The, the defense has definitely stepped up their game, playing complimentary ball. and. With the second time with, with, the, with the ball on the right side of the 50-yard line, if you're the offense, they got to make something happen the second time around. Newbitt's been a ball hawk his entire career with Minnesota, 50-year senior. Evans on the carry. Just no room to work with. Tyler Gidry on the tackle, along with Jordan Lawson down there for Louisiana, third and long. One of the few mistakes by Zach Evans today. Once you commit, you have to go. You, you saw him make his way to the left 
of that little pile of bodies. And then he tried to hop back out and go right. No, once you've committed, lower that shoulder and get as many positive yards as you can. Now it's Bryce Williams in there at running back. More reliable. They need him on third down for blitz pickup. And the pass is caught. That's, and then a helmet falls off at the end. But a first down for Minnesota. First down carry. Sean Tyler stood up by Casey Osai. Maybe a gain of a yard. Second down. Here's Callie McManus. Deep shot for Coombs, and it's out of reach. A flag comes in. Keon Martin was the defensive back in coverage. He thinks it's offensive. It might be. There was definitely some shoving and grabbing back and forth, but it is going to be on Keon Martin. He's certainly making his case. Automatic first down. Plenty of hand fighting there, and that left hand has to separate. And I, I see Keon Martin's argument. Krim's definitely <laughs> extending that hand. Watch their right hand kind of up in the face mask as well. Ke Keon Martin absolutely has a case there. Uh, I, I, I understand his frustration, but the call is the call. First down, Minnesota. Trying to go up two scores here. This could be the final play of the third quarter. And Tyler pushed back by Caleb Edwards. That's the end of the third quarter. Minnesota with the game's only touchdown in the third. Minnesota a lead trying to finish off Louisiana on homecoming. Second down, Bryce Williams lowers the shoulder into Edwards and puts the ball inside the five for Minnesota. Not a single bad thing can be said about Bryce Williams when you talk to these players and these coaches. Been in this program for so long, sat behind Mo Ibrahim. Now, technically behind two freshmen and Darius Taylor and, and Zach Evans. Has not complained, but never complained. Third and one. Minnesota needed the two to set up first and goal. And that's the signal. First down. Giving Jalen Hurts a run for his money. How about this for Cali McManus? Eight carries, 10 yards, <laughs> one touchdown, 1.3 average yards per carry. It's like a Jerome Bettis. <laughs> Always fall forward. <laughs> First and goal. Williams in at running back. Williams in there. Touchdown, Minnesota. of guys to one side of the line of scrimmage, which a lot of times gets a defense over leveraged. Bryce Williams reads it perfectly, fights through some guys, tough to get on the ground, and he gets six. Largest lead of the day for Minnesota. Kessich puts the Gophers up 11. As the fourth quarter continues, Minnesota wrapped up an eight-play, 42-yard scoring drive. Bryce Williams touchdown run. And here comes Zylan Perry out of the end zone for Louisiana. He does not make the 20-yard line. Maverick Baranowski helped trip up Perry. Here's a big hit by Jack Henderson. In 
trouble on second down, and he throws it away. Third down and long for Louisiana. Terrence Carter in motion. Here comes a blitz. It's picked up. Chris deals it complete to Jacob Bernard. And a first down, Louisiana into Minnesota territory. 32 yards on the play. Now that is ruled a catch by Harvey Broussard, but Minnesota thinks it's incomplete, and now it's ruled incomplete. Second down. From the 50, second down. Here's Broussard in motion. Chris, pocket collapses. He's thrown down by Anthony Smith, but your buddy Brock Tyler Newman blew that play up in the backfield. Another third and long on this drive for Louisiana. They converted the last one. Chris bobbled up in the air and incomplete. He had Carter for a moment on the sideline. Still a lot of time left in this game. And Thomas Leo on for the punt from midfield. Quentin Redding back deep to receive. Arm goes up for a fair catch. It's made inside the 10 yard line. Kelly McManus under center on second down. More than happy to take his time with Minnesota up in the fourth. Brevin Spann Ford, his first catch of the day, tackled by Keon Martin, third down. And Brevin Spann Ford is the guy that they really want to get going. He led the team in receptions a year ago, preseason All-American, certified NFL guy, but it just hasn't been clicking for him early on. Some some drops, some bobbles that have led to interceptions. So happy to see him get a catch there. I mean, he's he's on track to to be to leave here as one of the great tight ends. He needs to finish this season strong. I've seen a bunch of Matt Spath jerseys in the crowd today. <laughs> they love them. They love them. They love their tight ends here at Minnesota. Third down pass incomplete. Coverage on the play by Patrick Mensa. And Corey Crooms was the intended target. The punt from Crawford angling toward the Minnesota sideline, and the catch, fair catch, made by Bernard. The Raging Cajuns have racked up over 500 yards of offense in each of their last two games, but have only two first downs since halftime. First and 10 for Zion Chris in deep trouble. It's intercepted. Jack Henderson with the pick. The second interception of the day for Minnesota. He sees pressure. He has to get rid of it quickly. He's not able to fire that ball in there because he's on his heels. And Jack Henderson is right there. A testament to defensive coordinator Joe Rossi for saying, you know what? This isn't usually how we play. But what we're doing isn't working. So let's start bringing some pressure. You see Baranowski out there, you see Anthony Smith, and of course Henderson to bring it home. Remember Henderson, the native of Mandeville, Louisiana, taking on the team from his home state. You know, he loves a good bowl of gumbo. <laughs> and first thing he did when he got up to Minnesota, he said, hey, Coach Fleck, where can I find a, a good Cajun meal? And there is one in a diner nearby suburb, Mr. Paul. So Jack found Mr. Paul's. and. He's happy up here in the Twin Cities. So if you want to find Jack Henderson, one, watch the football. He'll be close by. Two, go to Mr. Paul's when they open. <laughs> there you go. He'll be the guy sitting in the corner. Paul smiles. And Tyler Newman, who also has a pick today, putting the chain around his neck. Minnesota can really put this game away with a touchdown. Certainly. And they're going to eat up clock in their quest to do just that. Second and six, ball near midfield. Bryce Williams, the running back. Callie McManus steps up into Louisiana territory. He slides down about a yard short.
Third and one. We've seen that play all day for Minnesota in short yarded situations. For Northwestern now giving up 24 unanswered. The Gophers are saying, well, how do you like it? <laughs> it's not so fun when a team scores 24 unanswered points on you, is it? Here's a taste of your own medicine. Yeah. <laughs> Kaliak Manis converts that third down into a first down for Minnesota. They're six of ten in third down conversions today. And three all game against Northwestern. Williams demolished in the backfield. Tyler Gidry was in on the stop. Second and 11 now after the loss. Evans hit the hole hard, but Kendra Gantt stopped him. On third and nine, Kaliak Manis throws it away. It's caught. Corey Crooms, now he's brought down short of the first down by Keon Martin. It was Cameron Whitfield who thought he had a quarterback set. And Kelly Manis is saying, no, 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 no. We're going for this. We're getting that first. Corey Crooms, man, just catching through contact. And speaking of contact, look at Kelly man is shaking off a very strong Cameron Whitfield and able to get free just enough to deliver that ball. Corey Crooms has Keon Martin draped all over him. Impressive efforts by both of them. But this play clock ticking down. There must be a timeout here in our near future. Very prescient of you, Brock. P.J. Fleck asks for a timeout. Fourth and two for Minnesota trying to put this one away. Here's a fourth down for Minnesota, and Jackson is wide open. Touchdown, Minnesota. Daniel Jackson's second touchdown catch of the day. And what I love about this is you go back to last week against Northwestern. They're on the 37-yard line going into the fourth quarter, and they choose the ball. Here, you're on the 38-yard line a week later, and you say, no, 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 I'm going to trust my offense to get it done. You dial up an incredible play fake. Daniel Jackson's wide open, and all you have to do is give him an opportunity. He will make that play. But I love the decision to remain aggressive, especially after last week's errors. Four touchdown catches on the season now for Jackson. That's one off his total from last year. Louisiana needs to open it up now. Zeon Chris to Peter LeBlanc, and he's Knocked down at the knees by Trayvon Jones. Second down, Chris. Untough in the pocket around Baranowski. First down and out of bounds. On first and ten, Chris. Throws it nearly into the seat. So that was gone for the first or second. Oh. Chris deals it complete. That's Terrence Carter. That's complete. Third down coming up. Four man rush. Chris to his running back, Jacob Cabote. Cabote keeps his feet moving, has an angle, and he beats Newbin. Touchdown, Louisiana. 52 yard run for Jacob Cabote on fourth and one. Almendaris. It's 35-24, Minnesota. Here's the onside kick. That is a loose ball. 
Minnesota touched the ball before it rolled 10 yards. And Minnesota recovers. Coleman Bryson still holding on to that football. I mean, an incredible kick. It sneaks right through the legs of the front man. You, you better believe to, to a coach, that is play of the game right there. Second and seven for Minnesota out of the timeout from the Louisiana 49. Bryce Williams inside the 45 to the 44 brings up third down. And Louisiana's called another timeout. Williams, the running back. And a first down for Minnesota. Williams on the tackle, but Minnesota moves the sticks. Louisiana out of timeouts. Williams close to the 30-yard line. Williams keeps pushing the pile inside the 30. Brings up a third down and short. Third down, Williams right at the line to gain. Tripped over his feet there. It's close. What did they give to him? So ruled short and a fourth and one coming up here. There are four different Minnesota ball carriers with 10 plus carries today. With Darius Taylor out of the lineup. Williams puts this one away. Minnesota tested, but they prevail. They snap that two-game losing skid. Get back in the win column with a 35-24 victory over this uh, talented Louisiana team. Now back to Big Ten play, Brock. And then, now we'll really see what Minnesota's made of. That West is wide open. They didn't do themselves any favors last week, but by no means are they out of it. You can't look at any Big Ten West team right now and say, that is the team to beat. They all are the team to beat because no one's really grabbed a hold of it just yet. Minnesota had actually lost its last two homecoming games, so they uh, break that streak as well. Beautiful afternoon in the Twin Cities and a Minnesota win.